For years, we have relied on the Matrix switch to meet the demands of the installation, delivering uncompressed video to multiple displays. And until now, this has been impossible to replicate using video over IP. SDVoE is transforming video distribution. Put simply, SDVoE is the matrix transformed. Very soon, we will be in a world where 10 gig Ethernet is ubiquitous and 1 gig is old junk. However, we don't need to live in that world to take advantage of SDVoE. Rather than think of 10G as an Ethernet system, which needs to be in place already, think of it as the hardware which does the same job as the matrix switch. When you needed new matrix hardware, you expanded your infrastructure. And with SDVoE, it's exactly the same. Not only can SDVoE match the same latency performance and quality of the matrix switch, there are a number of built-in advanced processing features which the matrix switch could never offer. And this course will introduce you to them. Before we dive into the various different video modes with SDVoE technology, we should mention the frame buffer. The what? The frame buffer. It's a computer memory and it stores at least one frame of video image data. So a frame buffer can be loaded up at one speed or video clock rate and then unloaded at a different speed. Right, so why would you want to do that? Well, there are some advantages. It enables frame rate conversion, for example, which gives you fully flexible scaling. Any resolution that goes into the transmitter at one end will be scaled to whatever the resolution is at the display. And since the display doesn't have to adjust to a new signal timing, fast switching is amazing. Cool. Yes, it is. And the frame buffer also allows multiple video sources to be synchronized at the output. So effectively, it unifies all the different clock rates into one. So what's the catch? Well, frame buffering adds around one to two frames of latency, depending on the difference between the input and the output clocks. But when you see the advantages, you realize it's worth it. Can't wait. Now that's cleared up, let's dive into the really good stuff. In SDVoE, the video mode is primarily a function for the receiver. The transmitter sends the data and the receiver can be configured for gen locking, fast switching, video wall and multi-view. And because each receiver works independently, two receivers receiving the same content from the same transmitter can be in two different video modes. You don't get that with a matrix switch. Let's begin with the Genlock mode. Mission critical applications, such as operating theatres or the live streaming of an event, require genlocking. The Genlock mode ensures that the source connected to the transmitter outputs the exact resolution to the receiver connected to the display. The total latency from source to display in Genlock mode is 0.1 milliseconds, which is actually the same as your matrix switch. This is exactly what we mean by the matrix transformed. It's identical to matrix switch performance, but on a flexible, cost-effective Ethernet backbone. Fast switching is very important for applications where source switching happens regularly. No one wants to see a blank screen while the display works out how to display the image. SDVoE has a fast switching feature, which, when applied, ensures each display instantly switches sources. To achieve this, SDVoE matches any given video format to the receiver connected to the display, which, in turn, outputs the image to the preferred resolution of that display. To achieve this, frame buffering is used, but only one to two frames of latency will be added to enable switching to be instant, making this an ideal solution for residential and presentation applications. OK, let's check out another video mode. Video walls are commonplace in ProAV, and again, with a matrix switch topology, you would need separate video wall processors to achieve it. Some high-end matrix switch platforms do include a rudimentary video wall feature, but because of the matrix architecture, there's an uncontrolled timing difference between the screens. 
This creates distracting visual effects for any content where an object moves between screens. SDVOE technology allows the creation of video walls with perfect synchronization, eliminating image stuttering and tearing between the screens. Bezel correction is also included to create the illusion of one continuous image across multiple displays. Finally, you may have heard of the term picture-in-picture. Picture. We call this multi-view. Put simply, it's the ability to be able to show multiple independent video feeds on a single display. The image processing required for multi-view means that to achieve this with a matrix switch topology, you would need additional and expensive controllers placed in line. Now, you don't need all of these ancillary devices. Simply set the video mode on the receiver and you're done, making SDVOE more than just the matrix transformed.